please welcome to the stage, Darren McGarvey. See how comfortable I can get. It's so good to have you here. I read this book when it came out and I wanted to talk to you about it for years. And we read us a wee bit. Fun. Absolutely. Here you go. Thank you. Pleasure. This is nice, by the way, isn't it? To like nice? be around real people and I know, all that. Real, you don't live real with real people. <laughs> I got back from my honeymoon and we went straight into lockdown, so oh it was God. like marriage boot camp. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> we survived, thankfully. <laughs> yeah. Right, okay. Uh, People like me don't write books, or so my head keeps telling me. Write a book, it sneers over my shoulder. You haven't read enough of them to even attempt such a thing. It's true, I am not a habitual reader of books, though I am a regular consumer of words. Since my school days, how words look, sound, and what they mean has been my primary interest. As a child, I was keen to engage grown-ups in conversation always trying to collect new words to add to my growing vocabulary. I'm told that by the age of five, I was precociously correcting my mother's terrible grammar, much to her annoyance. By the time I was 10, I was formulating my first short stories, borrowing heavily as one does from my main influences at the time, Granny and Batman. <laughs> but I don't remember reading any books. I do recall occasionally picking them up and flicking through a few pages or delving for a specific piece of information, such as the capital city of Turkey, which is not Istanbul. I don't remember the moment so many people speak of when they finish the life-changing book that ignites their passion for reading. I do, however, retain vivid memories of struggling with books and being intimidated by their physical size and word count. Mm. Just the thought of a big book was enough to defeat me. People like me don't write books. That sentence really stuck with me. Um, how did you start to give yourself permission to do it? And did you even know you were writing a book when you started writing stuff down? No, the, the book in its earliest form came out of uh, me sort of jigsawing together some essays that I had written or some th Facebook posts and blog posts and different mm -hmm. things that had started getting a reaction. Mm -hmm. And then it was really, um, it, it was really being encouraged by a couple of people, a couple of writers um, at different points where they just said, have you ever thought about writing a book? Mm -hmm. And I hadn't, it just it never occurred to me. But then the reason, actually, the reason I was getting a bit emotional reading that there, not because I wrote it, you know, like, oh, my God, it's so, so my, good. My own genius. It's so good. It's, it's my so first fun. book as yeah. well. <laughs> um, it's because I remember exactly where I was when I wrote it, and I remember the feeling of the complete clarity of mind because where I was at the time, uh, it was the first time for years where it had been quiet anywhere around me. And then... When was it, that? It was, it, I was on a retreat, I, I went on a writer's retreat by myself mm -hmm. somewhere in Perthshire, so it was very remote. Mm. And it just erupted out of me. And the thing is, the reason that I put it at the start of the book uh, is because I structured the book unconventionally that reflects my unconventional reading mm -hmm. and writing, but also to draw people in. Because if you start a book that says, I don't read, I'm a bad reader, mm -hmm. I'm intimidated, then what you're doing is you're giving the intimidated reader something to identify with and then it becomes less of a chore. So it's a basic kind of principle of education mm -hmm. where you're really kind of, you're, you're trying to manipulate people who don't like reading into reading it. Mm -hmm. And the amount of people who have contacted me saying it's the first book that they read or it ignited yeah. a passion for reading was, was really kind of um, a big uh, vindication of that decision. As confused as I'm sure the publisher was at the time when I handed the book in. <laughs> 